Mosley Discovering the Atomic Number by kscience.com In 1913, the atomic number was discovered by a man called Henry Mosley. In his experiment, he looked at different elements, including aluminium, potassium and iron, amongst many others. He fired them with high-energy electrons, represented by the red dots. The high-energy electrons hit the nucleus of each atom, causing X-rays to be released, represented by the green zigzag lines. The X-rays released by each atom were due to the high-energy electrons hitting the nucleus. Of these three elements, notice how aluminium released the lowest amount of X-rays and iron released the highest amount of X-rays. Mosley noticed how the smaller the atom meant less X-rays were released if there were less protons in the nucleus and therefore more X-rays were released if more protons were in the nucleus. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Mosley didn't just conduct these experiments on aluminium, potassium and iron. He did this for many elements. Mosley plotted his results on a graph, where energy is on the x-axis and the unit is joules, and the atomic number is on the y-axis. As Mosley plotted his results, he noticed as the atomic number increased, the energy released also increased. And he noticed something quite incredible. That there was a linear relationship between the atomic number and the energy released. Using this data, he concluded the X-ray energy released is proportional to the number of protons in the nucleus. Therefore, the atomic number must be the number of protons. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.